Oh my God. I keep saying when you when you start this thing up, you gotta be sure you're acting like your people are watching it right off the bat. I don't even know if I'm on. I have no link, no anything. So I'm gonna pretend I'm on and uh, I'm gonna look on my phone and see if I can see me. Oh my god. Not really on the ball. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm on here. Yeah, yeah. This is I am? Can you hear me? No. Oh, there's no voice? Okay, now. Okay. There is voice now? Okay. I'm a little bit, oh, okay. Myra just said I'm there. I yeah. can't even find me on my phone. Hey, I'm gonna play hard today. There's a lot of things I wanna talk about. The world is changing. This is the biggest change that's gonna take place in my lifetime without a doubt it's an astounding thing that's happening um, I'm, I'm i'm shocked even though i've said i've said for years and years and my daughter can remember when she was little and saying uh, the day's going to come i'll be very surprised I told her when she's little i'll be very surprised if you don't see a giant pandemic come over across this world and this looks like it may be it uh, I, I I look at the news, I hear all the things on the news, and uh, the thing that's interesting me most, I think, is the fact that you don't really know what's going on. You don't know what's true and what isn't. Hey, will you do me a favor and hello these people for me? I'm going to, I'm really going to be bad about this. Because once I get jabber and I jabber, And it doesn't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to even. Okay, hello. <laughs> I'm trying to say hello to her. This isn't going to work for me to talk to people back. I'm too too pokey here. So so everybody understand if I don't speak to you back. Anyway, this is an amazing flipping time taking place. And I want to talk about um, what I'm doing. Like the past, everybody's, I don't know how many times I've heard people say, I would like to learn a language. I'd like to learn a computer language. I want to learn this. If you're quarantined, this is probably about the most ideal time you'll ever run into. Not only that, but there's some fantastic data to get out of there. And I'm going to show everybody that wants to look um, what I'm doing. I've actually got a website up that has live data on it. And I'm going to see if I can bring it up. And uh, hon, hon, Myra's watching what I'm doing here. Tell me if I bring my page up right, okay? Okay, is this my, are you seeing my Linux toy box now? Okay, am I on one side or is it the only thing on the page? page. Only the page. Okay, so I've got this, my, my Linux toy box, this is my website. And if you see here, I've got a link in it that says coronavirus data right here. And if you click this link, Slowly it'll load because I'm broadcasting. It will load the data. Here's all the data. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna show everybody how to pull this data off of this page and be able to make graphs and look at it and see what you're doing and use Python to do it with. But here's the data. If you see I update it, it's updates every two hours and it's on Greenwich Mean Time. So uh, by the time I finish this broadcast, I'll have to update it again. And I've also got a live uh, um, a CSV file right here that you can hit and you can download 
and it gives you a choice saying, whoop. Well, I'm glad that happened. I'll have to move it to another uh, location because where it is, is, oh, I did my link wrong. I wonder if I could straighten that up right in the video. I might as well. That might be fun to, sh fun to do. Okay, so I'm on my, I'll go on my server right here. So here's my server. Um, I'll have to go into toy box. This will put me right into my server. And then I want to go to uh, okay. So now I want to go into COVID. Excuse this right here. I got to straighten that thing up because I'm talking about it. And I want it to work while I'm talking about it. Okay, so I want to go to index. Not PHP. Okay, here is that page. Here's what that page looks like. Here's what this page looks like. Okay, so this is the data that makes that page. It's uh, written in PHP, and I've got to see where uh, where that link is at. It's in here. And it's right there. I see that href and mylinuxtoybox.data. And I need that to be not under my Linux toy box, but under my Linux toy box COVID. C O B I D dash 19. Now I think if I reload this page, I'll save it. And I'll exit. And if I reload this page, it should be right. Yeah, look at that. You got a little lesson on how to work on a. Uh... Now, if I click this link here now, I think it will try to download it. There. The data CSV, and you can download it. You got a double dose right there. You got to see how. Uh... You got to see how I go into my VI, my, my, VP, my VPS, and uh, change my web page. Okay, so you can save that page right there and you can open it then with your default um, CSV viewer. You can look, open it with Excel or you can open it with, uh, with uh, LibreOffice. Okay, let's back up here. Let's see, return home. Oh, wait a minute, I wanna go back. I wanna, I wanna mention this, especially since it brought it in my mind here. I said the effects of the coronavirus are going to have the world's it's astounding. I mean, I have never seen any, except 70, going on 73, 72, and I have never seen anything remotely like this. The implications and the, and the things that are going to happen from, what's, from what these restrictions have done is going to be astounding. The restrictions have been imposed because of the virus will affect automobile accidents, crime, the typical flu statistics businesses, prices, politics, and fields of data that can be gathered and analyzed. As a data science, you can learn the results of these effects firsthand. There's things I, I hear about and everything on the news that, oh, I wonder what's really going on. This is uh, uh, New York is, is going through a lot. Well, is this New York City or is this scattered around? How far is this scattered? And I will be learning how to actually take a map and mark the latitude and longitudes and, and see what areas and how that's spreading. So this is this is an bizarrely and I almost hate to say it's not, it's an exciting thing for me because of what I'm what I'm learning on here. Now here is my sources of information are right here. If you look right here, you say as of Marshes. 
836 cases, 1,209. And these can be predicted extremely close, extremely close. It, it, it's, it's kind of amazing, to tell the truth, because uh, yesterday I did one that was off by, uh, by 30 cases on how much more it would have. There's almost 1,300. And I think in my paper right here, see, I just now removed that. And I think in my summary paper, I estimated. No, I don't know where it's at. We got that. I should have done this a little bit better. Oh, well, the one thing that's happening, I'm going to back away from there because I'm going to get myself lost here. I'm going to take and rerun all my cells, run all the cells. This is called a Jupyter Notebook. What it is, it's a way to run Python. And you run it individually in cells and see what's happening. And everything is choking a little bit because I'm broadcasting and I'm really putting a load on the old computer right here. Um, to do the different things, you have, to, you have some very, I, I, get, I, I get myself really mixed up here. I don't want to get into talking about the programming a whole lot. I want to look at the data and see if I can get people interested here. So what we'll do We'll go down here and look at Plotly. This is plotting what the data is. And everything is loading right now. It's running in the background. It's rerunning that page. So everything you see will be updated. Hey, hi. What's that? I, I can't see what's going on. What 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 did you just tell me? Yeah. Huh? Is everybody bored stiff already? Yeah. Here are the plots as I've drawn the plots out. And if you see, they're very similar to the ones you see on the television. I mean, on on on, on the on, the, uh, on YouTube. And here is Plotly. This is plotting the actual cases that have happened. Now I started, uh, when did I start this? Oh my God. I started this on, this is the time I started right here. And I have my starting date, I think as uh, right here it was eight. March 8th is when I started doing data on it. And it's updated right within the last hour. As I plot it, these plots are spaced out according to hours since my start. I've been actually monitoring this for a grand total of 18.24 days. So this graph you're seeing is spanned over the last 18 days. And it's every two hours, about every two hours over the last 18 days. And you see how it's going up. These little level areas are when they're not putting data in. There's a period of time, there's about uh, four hours. Let's see, there's six phases, six times two, 12. Oh, yeah, almost, almost. Uh, almost uh, eight hours that they don't put data in. And then as soon as they put it back in, you see it goes back up. If we go back to Plotly though, if you look here in the very beginning, there's always been that flat spot where they're not putting data in. No data in, no data in, no data in. But in the beginning, when they started putting data in, you see a very small change in here. Let's see, what is my reset? I wonder if everybody's getting bored to death yet. Oh, well. If you see here, 
this little span right here. You see it's a very gradual step going up. Now if I reset my data, and we look at it now, the very last spot, there's much more difference. So the rate of increase, you can tell just by looking at the graph is more. Everything is working so slow because I'm doing my camera too. To do this, there's a lot of little things you have to program. For one thing, my data comes in in months. So what I need to do is take the month and convert it to a number because I want numbers instead of uh, instead of uh, instead of the words. So if I take this this right here, what this function will do right here is if I run this. I'm almost thinking I might have to record this stuff and uh, so if I import my module, that's a module I just made. And I write month to date. You're loading. What's that? You're loading. Am I? I wonder if I'm it's loading loading everywhere. Right Am I loading with everybody or just with you? Okay. So this converts months. This little module I made here can convert the month. So if I go month is uh, the month equals March. And I run the program, it will show that it's number three. Number three, if I write June, it will automatically convert that June to number six. So when you're doing data, gathering data, you've got to clean and convert and do stuff all the time to what your data is. Now I've got a database that's built up that I call Corona Data, Corona Data 2, Corona Data 1, got aged out, and if I run my database, I think I'm gonna to go to this page. If I run my, if I run my database, you can see that everything is listed. Here's the date, here's the time. This is the, uh, the, the timestamp. I got the timestamp for everything because in the beginning I was trying to, well, I still am. I still am. I'm spacing between my times on the timestamp because timestamps are actually seconds. They're in seconds. So if I go between this timestamp and this timestamp right here, it will tell me how many hours right here, how many hours it has been since my last um, <laughs> How many hours has it been? Oh, this is in days. This is in days. How many days it's been since my last inspection? So if you see this, I started on, on started with zero. Then the first time I checked data was uh, uh, one quarter of a day later. One, I mean, we yeah, one fourth of a day later. And if you see here, it was four hours a little over four hours. This is a, it was one fourth of it. It was like six hours in there. But this is my accumulated time in this row right here. And I've been keeping records now, like I say, for the 18 days. Now this can do, once you start doing these records, you can see some astounding things. For example, when we look at all the stats and the people talk about the stats, 
you see the, let me look at my data here. You say, well, look at this. There's a, let me do this. At this time right now, we're going to insert a cell above, insert a cell above. We're going to divide the deaths. Divide the deaths by the confirmed cases. And this is what you're seeing a lot of people talk about, a lot of people are doing. And saying, well, it's about 1.4%. This is a very, very wrong number. This is assuming that once you see it that, once you're confirmed, the deaths happen right away. It's not true. If you really want a true number, you've got to back up about a week and say, here's the death today. The people infected were from one week ago. Those are the people because you don't die instantly. If people too do die, it's not instantly. It takes time for it to happen. So you want to check numbers from the past. I don't want to sound grim about this, but, it, but, but to me, that's what the whole thing of the science is, is to try to find out, try to learn what you can about the mortalities on it. So if you go back and say, well, they did the inspection six days ago and the death didn't appear till today, in the very beginning, it was really, really high. And the reason it was so high, the reason it was high in the beginning was because people didn't get the test unless they were death defyingly sick. They were almost dying to begin with. And then they went and got tested for Corona and they found it. So it was very, very bad. Now it's still not good, but it's much different. If you see now and you back up to the date of the tests, then you wind up with a much lower percent. And mind you, I'm not a, I'm not a, a uh, a data scientist. I mean, I, I'm, I'm learning this. I'm seeing what works. And when I start checking my numbers, I can guess really, really close to what's going on. And my numbers don't match what I see. They just don't match what I see on the news. But my guesses are pretty close. And I'm actually going to do some videos about that. I don't want to, I, I don't want to sound grim because what I really want to do is encourage people to take a look at the uh, the, the data and learn how to how to gather data and uh, and see what's really happening out there. I just realized I sound all grim. I'm not grim about it. To me, this is a, it's a uh, science thing to see what's happening. So if I look at all this data. You have to compare with dates today, dates yesterday. And then there's another spot, another spot for data here. I'm getting all carried away. I don't want to get, I don't want to sound grim and gloom because that's not what it's all about. There's another spot for data here. And that's on GitHub. If everybody's seen, or most of you have probably seen this map here. And Everything is slow. Oh my God. My internet's really much better than it's been before, but I'm overloading my computer right now. This one can be shut. I'm not going back there. Or am I? It seems like every time you read it, they add in here, though. Okay, so if you look here, you'll find out this information is available on, on GitHub. I got too much going on. 
Like my computer's freaking out. By the way, if you look at this, you'll see what has happened. We have bypassed everybody in the world with the amount of confirmed cases. We have more confirmed cases now than China even had. Now, if I enlarge this dot right here, well, everything's on slow. Sorry, everybody, that's life. It says right here, the download data is right here. And I use this data too. And I've got some uh, notebooks that have actually taken directly off of this data. This is on GitHub. And this is the data that they're using to make that map that you saw a part of the data and or is the data because it says right there this is the data source they're using and if you look in here under uh under the data under daily reports it will show you right up to date the csv file And you can pull the data from that CSV file and put it in your notebook. And you can pick out states, you can pick out towns, you can pick up the latitude and, uh, latitude and longitude. If you see here, South Carolina, uh, the last update that was done there, um, Louisiana, the last update that was done there, and how many are in Louisiana, uh, how, how, what the problems are in Louisiana. And it's going to all be loaded into your Jupyter Notebook. All the states are listed in here. And you actually can get data for the whole country if you want to. But I see right now, this has changed. This does change every time. I shouldn't say every time. Quite often when I come in here, I find it has changed. And I think it's because right now we are the... Uh, we're the center of this whole thing. We are definitely, our country is definitely an example. See all the different countries are in here, but we're listed on the top. Now it was showing latitude and longitude, and I don't see that anymore. Now whether it does on top, I'm sorry for all this pauses in between. There's not much I can do. Here it is. Now you can see the latitude and longitude of where the, the uh, confirmation was. So this is really a lot, a lot of information. And I'm learning right now how to take a map, like I would take Colorado, make that into a map, and overlay the latitude and longitude on it and show where the cases are at. Data science is an exciting thing. It's an exciting thing to learn. And at this time, what we have out there for data is really quite unbelievable that you can see things updated hour by hour on uh, uh, what's really going on. So what you hear on the news isn't 100% true. It just isn't. And I'm not going to call it fake news because they're making things look bad that aren't. They're trying to make things look a little bit nicer than what they are. All you've got to do is look at these graphs and you see this is really pretty rough out here right now. What's happening in this world is, uh, is scary. At least it is to me.
So this is the case, and down here is the, is the depth. And notice there's no real difference in the way they go up. They're all increasing. This right here is an error. They made an error when they gathered the data and they made a, uh, I think what happened at this point right here, because you can't have people have it and not have it. What happened here, I think, is when the, the, the ship had the people on it, they added the ship to the public. And then after adding it to the public, they realized what they did and they corrected the data and put it back down and say, hey, the, we, we counted those people twice and they put it back down and that's what happened. But it's, it's, it gets when I said, well, what's going on here? And as I looked and tried to find out, it, it looked like that was the same time that they took off the, uh, uh, I can't think of the name of the ship, the princess something. But I will be, if this has drawn the interest of anybody, and I know you, I mean, I haven't explained a thing about code. And as it goes, I will, I will. I'll break it down and I'll, I'll speak about everything going on. This website right now of mine, Learn Python, it's gonna have the notebooks in it. The notebooks will be uploaded this afternoon to say, here's what a notebook looks like. And uh, actual graphs will be put in. So this is all, needless to say, since I started on the 18th, and uh, I mean, I started 18 days ago, and I had no idea I was going to do this. So this is a, uh, I've got a lot of work to do to try to catch up. Now, I'm going to come on and just a little bit on um, my Linux toy box. And on my Linux toy box, I'm going to get technical and say, hey, here is the code, and here's what it's doing. Here's how you get this data. Here's how you can get data from my page right here and put it in your own Python and, and look at it so you can uh, explore yourself. I think that the future in data science, because of this, is going to be tremendous because we can look... I, the, the one the one thing you don't hear about people talk about all under restriction for because of the, the COVID-19 how terrible this is it, it is terrible but we're also going to have less flu because people aren't going out there's less people die from automobile accidents there's things in business that are going to change astoundingly and I will bet you I really really think I really think this, and you listen because you'll hear this term of the pandemic boomers. There's going to be the COVID-19 boomers because people are staying home. They're not going out. It's just like when they come home from the war. People are home, staying home, and there's going to be a boost in population. The COVID-19 boomers, and I'm going to follow that with my data science. I'm positive. I've heard nobody mention that, but it's got to happen. If people aren't going around, they're making babies. That's just the way it is. And we're going to hear of the COVID-19 boomers. And you heard it from me first. You heard it from me first. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, it's not in this movie. I'm going to put it, put it I'm going to do, do a video on the COVID-19 boomers because I know there's going to be a population that comes up that's going to uh, have a little spike in population because people are staying home and uh, not going out cruising there making babies. <laughs> hey, I hope you find this entertaining. I'm going to be on my Linux toy box in just a little bit, and I will get more technical there. This right here is kind of, look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing, because I'm excited. I'm excited what I'm doing, what I'm finding here. And uh, I will show how to get the data right smack off of this uh, off of this site right here. How to get this data and make yourself graphs with it. How to look in here, because I've got, oh, let's see, can I do this here? I think I've got it. It's in another notebook. It's in another notebook. 
but I can open it. No, I feel like I've got to do this now, no, no, and I don't. Hey, if you're bored, you go. If you like it, you stay. That's life. But I've got something neat to show because I can go in here state by state and start pulling data out. If I go in here to, uh, these are different notebooks I have on them. I think this one right here, I have more. Yeah, this is where I got more GitHub stuff. And I've actually got to update. It's so easy to update and do this stuff. It's Jupyter Notebook is not a difficult thing to download and get going. What you can do with it is you can learn your Python. You learn a piece at a time. And I'm going to teach a piece at a time on how you can get data and go through it and graph it and study it. I think I better close all my pages. I can't close streaming art in macro. I close streaming art. I'm gone. You're not gone. That's right. This thing keeps you on until you tell it I want to go. I want to close some of this stuff down to make it easy on my computer. It's crying. Well, look at this. I'm showing you StreamYard. I forget you look at whatever I'm looking at. Okay, once you, on GitHub, I'm going to explain GitHub and everything. And if any, all you've got to do is say, hey, tell me about this, explain this, and I will explain it. I'll make a movie about it. I'll make a video. What I can do right now is see, I've already got my, my, my GitHub going here. So I can do a Git pull and update all my information. I don't think I changed my directory name. Oh, yes, I did. I did. I might not be able to do this. I just changed my directory name. Here's my desktop. Yeah, I better change that back to C. I better copy that because some things I've changed. Okay, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it again. I might have been able to do a git pull and have it work. You should just try that before I find out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't think it's going to like my name I have for it, though. Oh, there it goes. It's pulling in here. It's updated to the last report, 326. So this is automatically went into GitHub and it updated it. And if I look at the information on 326, they've got it 324 here now, 326. And I run it. What this does here is it loads the file, opens the file, reads it line by line, and it prints it. So this is that file run line by line. And what I can do is query by location and say, I want to look because I've got it here. If I do line two, see what it says down here? If I do line one, I can search by city. If I do line two, I can search by state. So if I go line two and I run a search and say, look, look at uh, Virginia was one of the last ones. It went a long time before it had anybody that had it. I need to go. You need to go? Yeah, I need to buy a pills and so I need to go that la lockdown there because Rick is not feeling me. So I go take that and then he asking me 
to go away to town to buy a pills, right? You buying some of their pills? Yes, because I have a quarantine pass. They don't have quarantine pass next door. Oh, because they got, they got, the, are they sick? Yeah. And you're hanging out over there? No, it's not. It's not, I know, honey. They, they, oh. they, they, <laughs> Oh, oh, it's having a double heart attack. So anyway, I told it, look now, I says, hey, search for the word Virginia. And it shows the different places in Virginia and how many people they have. Here are the towns, the towns in Virginia that all have cases. And if I go here, I can look by country and say, here, let's search by country. And what was that last one I did, the 26th? 26th? And this is gonna be sad. What's gonna happen here is gonna be a sad thing to see because uh, I'm gonna write Italy. And you see there at 6203, we've blown them away. We have done terrible on trying to prevent this. And I don't think it will pick USA out separately, United States. I don't uh, I don't remember that listing with United States. I think it breaks it all down into states. I will try it though, but I don't think I get a response. No. If I do U.S., it does everything. No, it's not going to do it that way anyway. But we have bypassed Italy. If we look on here now, and this is really too bad. It's like we didn't learn anything from what's happening to other countries. Just went right ahead and said, hey, this doesn't matter. And this could be, this is going to get big. I, I mean, I hate to say it, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but I'm looking at numbers and I'm, and I'm, and I'm freaking out to tell the truth. It's interesting, but uh, look, once again, I'm wait, 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 wait for it to load. I hope this broadcast is going okay. I hope everybody's not bored to death. I suppose I ought to go back here and click StreamYard see if anybody's really watching me. If I'm just uh, sitting here talking to myself, I might be talking to me. Everybody, the whole world was saying Italy, 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 and we passed them up. We left them buying them to dirt. Our deaths aren't, but the reason that deaths aren't, the reason the deaths aren't, is Italy has a very large population of older people. That's why they had a higher death rate. Their actual, um, and I'll do stats on that to try to prove it, what I'm saying, but what I, I, I know that Italy is a lot of older people. And they're of course are the most vulnerable. However, the news did something really bad when it says young people don't have to worry because that's not true. It's not true. The amount might not be as high, the mortality is not as high, but young people still get ill. I'm going to go my stream yard. Anybody talking to me? What could be done? Okay, I just put this on here. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm looking at what you guys are saying right now. How am I going to do this? I click this and it puts me on. How do I do it? Here? Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. How are everybody doing? How are y'all doing? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to stop looking at my stuff because it's depressing. But I will teach anybody that wants to know anything about uh, a Python and data. This is, this is it's just interesting. To me, it's interesting. And I've been in the Python for quite some time now, and this is just a uh, whole new thing to focus on. Hey, I, I swear, I, I think I, 
the, the data will prove, the data will prove, and, and you and you heard it from, first from me, the COVID-19 boomers that will be coming up in, uh, in about 10 months or so, because it will, nine and 10 months, eight to 10 months will be the COVID boomers. And uh, look at everybody in here. Who's here? I don't know this program that well. I can't even see who's still online. Is anybody still here? Is anybody home? Myra did some videos downtown of uh, everybody in masks, running around with a mask, and the stores are, the stores aren't like the United States. People don't hoard over here like the United States. But there was no alcohol. There was no, um, and there were loads of toilet paper. <laughs> Don't use toilet paper over here. They use that, what do they call it, the tapo. Uh, they don't use toilet paper, so they said nobody cares about that. But the alcohol and the washers, the hand washing, the sanitizer, they're hard to get hold of. But she did a video about it, and and YouTube, more than that, she did two videos that shows everybody going around with masks on and everything, and... Uh, YouTube said it's not fit for advertisers. Nobody want to advertise on it. So YouTube thinks nobody in the world cares about what's going on in the Philippines and uh, and uh, COVID-19, I guess. I'm kind of astounded they did that. I'm kind of astounded because she really did a neat little video going down there. Oh, my God. Hey, John. Hey, thank you very much, man. Hey, I'll keep, la I'll keep laughing till I shoot craps, man. As a matter of fact, if I can figure a way to laugh on the way out, I'll be I'll be laughing when I go. Oh my God, I'm, I I have a terrible sense of humor, a terrible sense of humor. And 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 sometimes I just melt at Myra when I say things, but I told her today, I said, "Hey, if I die from this COVID, you know, if it gets me, I want my ashes packed." In this little doll head. And I want the doll head mounted on an MP bottle, say. <laughs> and she, she had a double heart attack just when I said it. Oh my god, look at it. Oh my god, look. Can I do that to look like my head? I'm really losing it, huh? There, look, oh, look at that. Okay. This is crude, isn't it? The Philippines has been rough on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well. Hey, things are pretty good to tell the truth. I mean, I've... Uh, I'm a computer geek. I'm absolutely insane with my computers and uh, and with programming and everything. Uh, but I think I give you a little peek to see that. Yeah, <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> oh my God. But I, I, I mean, I'm a super super computer geek. There's no other way around it. Um, and now I've got, the, I'm learning so much about Python and, and gathering data and everything now that uh, it's, my life is even more consumed. I learn other languages. Like I'll learn to do this in Python. Then I'll say, okay, now how can I do this and uh, post this data with Node.js, you know? How can I post these notebooks? Oh, it's still being worked on. They're living in it. They're living in it. We're not living in it because I don't. I don't want to move down there. I've got to. I like where I'm at, and uh, I've got fast internet here finally, or at least reasonably fast. But uh, the boys are down there, and their uncle's living down in the house, and so we're getting rent from it. And uh, I think Myra's got some videos on it. I guess I should put a video up on it too. And kind of update with what's going on down there. It come out pretty nice. It come out pretty nice. Um, uh, 
That's terrible. I'm sitting here and I cockroach cold on my foot. Not much you can do about cockroaches here since you don't have screens or anything. You have open windows. Oh my God. Uh, so it is the house is the house finished down there or is it still being worked on some are you finished finished huh? they just ask about the uh down there? john just asked about the house it's 99 percent finished right i mean they're living in it and uh, uh, you there is what? no store yet there will be a store in front um great. the guy in the wheelchair that's jesse jesse's still here right yeah but i can see him He's, he's still here. He's not living close to us. He's in the subdivision in a different area, so he's doing well. And uh, I have seen him at a distance, but I haven't, I, I'm not, I'm not a social butterfly. <laughs> what I like, what I like is computing. I like computers and remote communication. So so if I get if I get coronavirus, I've caught it from my computer. You have a virus, computer virus. Yeah, virus. I've got. Watch out, Jack will get computer virus. I am aware. I am scared. You're you know scared. Why? Hey, come here, hon. I'm, come here, Petunia. No, come here, come here. No, you need no, to no, come no, here, no, come no. here. No, 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 come Next here. Time. Hey, everybody wants you here. Come on, come on, come Next on. Time. No, right now, right now, you look cute. I you come here. <laughs> She'll get over here. It's just going to take her a minute. Oh, my God. She's out. Oh, my God. She was funny. Do you have your you have your mask with you, right? Yeah. Okay. Come here. You show everybody how when you went down to Tunko, how they were wearing their masks. <laughs> Back she come days. back. She come back. You. She come back laughing and okay. laughing and says, "Look at how people are wearing their masks over here." In the market. In the market. In the market, uh, the people just like, I use like that, huh? Eh? See, you know. That's okay. how to do it. You cover your nose and everything. Uh, but in the market, they're wearing it like this. But the market, like this, huh? <laughs> Nose, nose out. <laughs> so the mask going absolutely nothing, you know. Okay, so, I need to go down buy a pills. Okay. She's going down to get pills for the neighbor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I want two things. I want some fly paper, and I want um. I want um. Yeah, I want some sticky paper, and I want. What else? Oh, yeah, it's not for the mouse. What? For the mouse? I'm not going to eat a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> you have to cook my mice for me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I get sticky paper to get my. I would catch them alive, but my God. That's a pain. I thought I'm going to come back in. What else did I want? I wanted something else, not exciting. Okay, anybody got any questions about what's going on over here? You know, anything dramatic? Any, okay, bye-bye. Um, okay, bye-bye, baby. Don't. You take it easy out there. Cover your nose. There's no alcohol at all anywhere, right? Uh, right here in the subdivision, people are going out and around within reason. Not a lot. Myra, she's on her way down because the neighbors can't get out and they need medicine. So she's going down to get their pills for them. Uh, I'm not thrilled about her going out, but that's life has to happen. There's not, there's not a lot of gossip. Everything is... Everything has calmed down so much about gossip, you wouldn't believe it. The um, the main gossip now is pretty much consumed with the uh, with the virus, the people worrying about it. 
I shouldn't say they're worried about the virus because like Mara said, I'm not worried about the virus. I'm worried about food because it's hard to get food now. And uh, it, it's difficult. Food is getting more and more scarce and what, and what is here is expensive. So she's a little worried about that. But she says, I'm not worried about virus. I'm afraid I'm gonna starve to death. Yeah, I'm on I'm the state. I think uh, I think the best thing is not to go anywhere out anywhere that you can avoid. It's just not it's just not worth it. I don't think I would like to go through the medical care over here for something like this uh, virus. It's not that strong in the Philippines right now, as I'm watching the records and watch what's going on. But then they don't keep records like the United States, so you really don't know. And I and I don't know if the if, if who was really that concentrated this time on what's going on there. So what new? What else? I don't know if you're. I don't know how long you guys been on. I've got my. I, I have a website up in my web. Hey, I'm all involved in this library, uh, library TV. That's pretty interesting, too. That was really the center of all my attention before this coronavirus. Uh, as a matter of fact, coronavirus was, I got introduced to coronavirus through library. Because I, I saw so many people looking about it, and I started looking at data on it and said, holy macro, you know. Library is pretty interesting. They've got a neat idea, but I don't know how, how it's going to work. They've been around for quite a while, though, so. They just have no censorship. They're like YouTube with no censorship. Library TV. L-B-R-Y dot TV. Take a peek at it. And what they do, they'll sync. I've got my YouTube channel synced with it. So I automatically, if I upload a video, it drops into my... <laughs> you well-scrubbed friends. It's smelling like alcohol. <laughs> Not... Imperador alcohol, but um, rubbing alcohol. You know, most of the neat, let's see. Madeline got married. Madeline got married to a, was he American? Yeah, he was an American. She got married to, an, to another American. Um, the little gal, the, um, Oh my God, what I call her? The one I call Bear, oh my God, I am getting old. Jesus Christ. Anyway, she's, she stayed in, uh, in Manila for a long time, but she went back to, uh, she went back also. She's not married. She's the one that had the, uh, the, 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 the cleft lip, and they fixed it. The, the United States doctor came over and fixed that. And you look at her now and you wouldn't even realize it. Um, he, did, he did a really great job. Roger Gordon. Hello, Roger Gordon. Yeah, the girls, they, the girls were fun. They were a lot of fun. That was, uh, Myra's niece has just uh, made the whole world different when she was here. Oh, girl on fire. Oh, my God. She's still funny. She's the one that got married. She married to another, uh, to another American. And uh, he built her a house and everything, put her father in business. So he came over and did quite a bit of good. I can't believe I did. I know it's something there. I can't believe I don't remember that right off. Jesus. I'm embarrassed. I don't remember that. Something there. Yeah, Jesus. Anyway, who else? La 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 la's married. Does, does anybody here know um 
Oh, I'm, I'm getting Alzheimer's or something here. Anybody else know Turner? Turner came over here and for a long time, as a matter of fact, he still might be for a long time, the uh, Lala and her husband and even the kids were staying with Turner. He turned into like grandpa. He'd been up here a couple of times to visit and he, uh, he adopted her and uh, it's kind of neat, you know, because he didn't come over here saying, I want that young girl. He said, I want to come over here and see if I can make that young girl's life better. And he took care of her and her husband both and uh, helping a kid go in school. We mean no more than Joe Biden. Oh my God. Oh, because he's not, I guess he's forgetting things too. This is terrible because in the, you know what? I program, I program. And you gotta have a memory when you program or you should have, but I am so, freaking good. I am really good with databases. And my database is my memory. A hundred percent my memory. The very first thing I learned, I knew my memory wasn't the best in the world. So the first thing I learned with databases, saying, how am I going to remember things? I've got to have a database. And my database, if I have names, numbers, addresses, code, pieces of code, passwords, everything, everything is in my database. I can go into there and I can say, um, if I have a piece of code that says uh, a time element, I can go into my database and, and say, search for time element, and it will bring up that time element of where I use that at. Links, it shows my links, and things. If, I've, if there's a link or something I like, or uh, I can go in and if, I, if it's a Python link or, or, or a, or a JavaScript link. I put the link in and just write JavaScript or write Python. That way I can write Python link and all my Python links come up, all my JavaScript links. I, I really, really found out that databases are about the best thing in the world for anybody, especially when you get older. Oh, what else? Oh my God. I don't want to talk about politics. I'm almost scared to say that word, but I'm glad I'm over here. I see an astoundingly dramatic thing that's going to be happening because of this uh, coronavirus. And, uh, I think we're going to see a bigger division of classes between the people that don't have and the ones that do. Oh, me and Myra's doing fine. She's doing great. She's down getting medicine right now for a for a for a sick neighbor. Not coronavirus sick. It's just an older woman that's uh, not feeling well, and and she needed some medicine. Myra went to go get her medicine. Myra medically helps a lot in the neighborhood. A lot. She used to be a midwife, and so she's, uh, I guess the best thing to say is she's medically oriented because she, uh, she delivered, I, I don't know every time I tell how many babies, and she says, I lost count at over, over 1,500, I quit counting, and it wasn't important anymore, but she says, I did a lot after that. So she delivered a lot of children. So because of that, the neighbors, if anybody's not feeling well or something isn't going right, they go to Meyer and say, hey, what can I do? What can I do? And her mother was real strong into a holistic medicine and using herbs and stuff. She can go out and we go for a walk and she says, that plant right there, if you take that and you chew it, it's good for if you don't have high blood. If you eat this one right here, it's good if you have a headache. And, uh, and she makes me teas and stuff. And I'm still alive and kicking, so she, she must be doing something right. I'm health-wise, I'm scary healthy. There's no other way to say it than I'm scary healthy. There's nothing wrong. I have to get a, a little bit of high blood. When I say a little bit of high blood, if I don't take pills, I get to 146, 145. I mean, I, I've heard people talk about high blood and it, 
and, and, and when they medicate, that's what they wind up with. My sister's like that. She got high blood pressure. When she takes her medicine, she comes down to where I normally am. But I think they, I don't think they call high blood, it's hypertension or something. I don't know. It's not enough that I, that I worry about it. I pay attention. I had myself a problem with my blood when I first came over here because I got, I love the dried fish, the salted dried fish. And there was one evening, I, I had a little bit of the red horse out and I got some salted dried fish and I ate way too many salted dried fish. And uh, I had a, uh, that's when my, my blood pressure went absolutely insane. And uh, I got it down because I did have medication. I, I got it down. And when I went in the next day, uh, the doctor says, hey, man, he says, uh, you better take it easy. No more than dried fish because you cause yourself big, big damage with it. Other than that, I dehydrated myself over here. Oh, my God, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. But otherwise, I have not been ill. I get a, I get a brush with a flu every year. But um, it's n again, it's nothing dramatic. It's, uh, oh, you know, I eat a lot of garlic. I eat a lot of garlic. I actually have garlic cloves by me a lot. There's none here now. As a matter of fact, that's what I was going to tell Mara. I'm trying to think what I want her to get. I want her to get me garlic and ginger because I keep a keep garlic cloves and uh, a ginger root by me. Yeah, the magic syrup, it's good, but it's a lot of salt in it. A lot of salt in it. But, uh, but I'll take ginger and I'll just use it to chew on it. And I don't drink anymore. I don't drink anything. I'm so, I'm so undrinking, I'm boring. I haven't had a, God, I haven't had a beer for months. Months. And I think my last MP was about a month ago. I do get these little bottles, more, these little ones like this, the MP, the little small ones. And, and that little small one like that lasts me for, it looks big because it's close to the camera, really it's real small. So it's, uh, that'll last me for a week. But I haven't even had an MP for over a month. I think last payday, payday, payday before last, I think I got one to celebrate payday. Hey, payday, I'm gonna give me a little MP. Um, I, I, Myra also feeds me really, really healthy. It's not always things I want to eat, but I know the food is really, really good. And salads are so expensive over here. Um, to get a really good salad can easy, easy be close to a thousand pesos. And I know that sounds unbelievable, but I have seen it. I've been down myself. And if you want to get salad stuff, we're going to have yourself a couple good salads. And I don't want to sit down and have a salad. Nobody else has any, you know. So. Uh, yeah, I've had that garlic oil. Yeah, I've had that garlic olive oil pasta. I've had that. I use a lot of pepper. I use a lot of pepper. I have one of the big, 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 big peppers like this. And. Uh, Myra laughs me all the time because when I'm eating my when I eat an egg or anything like that and I put pepper on it, it's black. It's black. It's covered black in it. She says, Can you taste them inside, you know? And what else to talk about? The Tartar's got a big, big block on uh, on every matter of fact. We've got guards, and we're not we're not in Manila. We're way outside of Manila. I shouldn't say way outside. We're outside of Manila. Uh, 
but we've got guards at the end of our subdivision and you and one family can have a pass to uh, go in and, and do shopping and stuff one person in the family can and uh, not even all families get them Oh, you know what? That legend, deep fried skin. I love that. I really, really love it a lot. And have you ever had the mungo beans? They have mungo beans over here. They look like little peas. Mungo beans and you, that mungo beans onion with lechon in it. Me, I'm not near anything. I'm near Manila. I'm about uh 30 minutes, about 40 minutes, 45 minutes north of Manila. And if it was good roads and no traffic, I'd probably be about 25. Oh, did you race horses then? Yeah. If it wasn't for the traffic, it'd probably be about 25 minutes away. It's really, really close. But the traffic always hangs everything up. I know at night, if you go in at nighttime, like, like two in the morning, it's very quick to get in. It's just a, not even not even a consideration for the drive. The changes I've seen over here are astounding. They built a whole freaking mall since I've been here. And uh, I think in the very beginning, I had a few pictures where it showed off in a distance. And I just said, look, they're breaking ground. They're building something back up in there. And uh, they built a mall. They built one of these big SM multi Floor malls, right? Actually, it's within walking distance. I mean, to me, a, a mile is easy walking distance, so it's within walking distance. I can't believe I've been here eight years now. I just, uh, it kind of astounds me that it's been that long. I'm definitely one of the old YouTubers. Uh, uh, doing the, doing the movies on uh, the Philippines. I don't do much in the line of movies anymore. What what you do when when you come over here? When you, anybody that what you do your whole life, you know. But when you first come over here, you got to find something to keep busy. And I got really into the videos. I got insanely into videos. As a matter of fact, I was doing a video a day, a video every couple of days for a long time. Um, I've got, uh, I think I've got about 900, maybe over 900, I don't know, uh, videos. And I got into programming and I didn't have time for videos anymore. Programming really, really took over my life. And I know so many computer languages right now. I play a lot with Python because I like Python. It's simple and it's good with the data science. But I also do Node.js. I'm learning Perl right now. I never knew Perl. I do a lot of JavaScript and web. I do. I've been working on websites for for years. And uh, PHP. I used to fix um, blogs that got hacked. As a matter of fact, I, I made myself a pretty penny by fixing hacked blogs. Somebody going to take a blog over and I going to try to pull that thing back out. And uh, that kept me actually pretty busy for a while. Yeah, but I get tired of that too. I don't even want to freelance because freelance tells me what I have to do. And, and I want to play. I want to, I'm really into graphics, a lot of graphics. And look at my other... Look at my, see, I wonder if I can post a, I wonder if I can post the link in here. Well, I don't have to post the link. I can bring it up. Yeah, I can bring it up. See, I think I could click over here and nobody's going to see even what I'm doing. That's why you've got me. You're not going to see where I'm at. Let me go over here and I'm going to load up. Because uh, I've got a couple of web, I mean, I'm not websites. I've got a couple of other uh, locations where I've got uh, videos. They're not about. Uh, 
about the Philippines, but um, oh my God, I just slowed everything down terribly. I've got better internet, but it still makes me want to cry sometimes. That's life, the way it goes. Oh, is that something? I see me online here. Okay. I've got a couple of these in here. Okay, I can open that in another page. And There's another one. So nobody can see. I'm looking at this thing again. What's he talking about? Okay, let's see one minute. See, I've actually got. See, how do I do this? I click this from my page. Yeah, I've been hacked a few times, but um, that's life. I'm using my own VPS now, and I haven't been hit on my own VPS yet. And it's locked down pretty good. So I haven't, uh, uh, I would never say people can't get me because they can. It just uh, is not as easy because I have, uh, nobody else can get to it but me. I'm not using another service. Let's see, I think if I do this. I think I can do that. Okay, and then I can show. This is mine right here. My Linux toy box. This is mine. And I've also got one called Totally Insane Art. And these are all synced with library. So here's a video from uh, Totally Insane Art. I did some uh, Mandelbrot graphics. Let's see if I stop this. How do I stop it? Okay, there you go. And my Linux toy box. These are both my channels, too. Here's one I did a little bit. It's a tiny little bit about uh, plotting cryptocurrency with a library. And how you can actually draw and plot up uh, your uh, earnings that you make on your library. Okay, I'm back. That's enough of that. But I've got a couple of So between that and my Python, I keep pretty busy. Not much time for playing. Make videos. I think I'm going to do more videos. Like, like uh, the live stream is kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I've done a couple that were uh, that were interesting. Did God? I can't believe I just looked at. I've been on here for an hour. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello, Chris.
Yeah, all of the all of the cryptocurrencies have dropped quite a bit. Quite a bit. As a matter of fact, uh, the LBC. I have some LBC because I, I'm 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 in that library making videos and stuff in there, and uh, I get involved in. A, oh, I also have a website. Jesus. If you see what I'm doing, you see I, I keep pretty active. I'm pretty darn active. Um, in my library, here's the library. This is mine right here too. And this is about library. This is another one of my one of my projects. So I keep I keep pretty busy. Huh. They're not filled about the library TV pop ups, I guess. And there's a video I've got posted on library. So you can actually it's playing, but it says uh, it's even playing with sound and everything here. But it's got the play button in the front. So anyway, I keep pretty busy. That that website with mine too. It's, uh, it's about library and how to uh, run things from command line instead of using the interface and download videos and everything from uh, from library. Yeah, that's too bad about Mike, you know, that's, that's, that's too bad. That's, uh, I know he tried to help a lot of people. I know he tried to help a lot. That's uh, too bad what happened there, but. but that left me deep in thought. Every once in a while, I remember how old I am, and I go, good God, am I lucky so far? Am I lucky so far? I mean, uh, uh, I could still go dancing, you know? So I feel I feel pretty good. I have that. I want to be careful and knock on wood. Every time I say that, I feel good. I get this corona thing and knock my butt off my body. Oh, my God. I do take care of myself pretty well. I don't go out there jogging around the block, but uh, I, I quit drinking. I don't drink hardly anything at all anymore. And I quit smoking. I quit smoking the day my daughter. Yeah, I thought that was a little morbid, that last video. But that's that's the way it is over here. I've had people, I, I've done a lot of videos here in the Philippines. I've had neighbors that come up to me and ask me if I would do videos of people in caskets that were out because when somebody dies here they put them out on display for a week and uh, they come up and say well can, will you do a video of that so that um, his kids out of the out of the country can can see him you know or see her one I did of a woman and it was really kind of bizarre to me because they said well can you can you do kind of a, a close-up there so the so the family members can see her, and uh, and I said, "Well, I'll put it on for a while, and then I then I unlist it. I give people the link, but I don't make it public videos." And uh, I've got one of a kid that was electrocuted. I've got his funeral and him on display. I've got a couple of neighbors here, and um, I've got I I I I used to do a lot of videos by request, a lot of kid parties I did, and. Uh, I never wanted to put kid videos on. I have, if you notice in my videos, I have very few things with kids in it. And this is way before YouTube did that. I just didn't want to have, I said, well, it was a fair to do kids out there that then had to look back and see where, 
some American and put them on video when they were younger. But I did videos and then I give the family the links to it, but it's not public things to find. Death is looked at differently here. It's uh, and I, I I don't understand the the public display for so long, except a lot of times they're on display. Oh, the, the last person that died was on display, and and the neighbors come over there and play poker around him. You know, he's laying out there in the casket, and neighbors all gather and have a poker party. And, and what they did is they donate part of their poker party money to help bury him. And I went, oh my God, I can't believe it. People would freak in the United States to see such a thing. And uh, yeah, they're playing poker and you look over near the casket. Oh my God. Life is different, life is different. I enjoy the Philippines. I've, I, I, I said ever since I've, I came over here, and uh, and I say it again. And, I mean, I've been I've been around a block for a while, you know. This is a lot like when I was a kid. Over here is a lot like when I was a kid. And you know, Americans come here and look. Go, oh, look at all the trash, the junk. I remember that junk all over piled so high outside along the side of the streets. And and I remember I remember the big thing about McDonald's when they first opened the food chains because there'd be so many papers thrown on the ground that people were going insane about it, you know? Uh, I can remember seeing septic running out in the open. I can remember seeing open septic. I mean, I mean they, they put it through some little freaking tank that wasn't hardly anything. And it'd run out, and then, uh, you know, geez, if a dog licked it, would kill it some, but, gun, but, and that's what they do here. It's just, it's so much like it, like when I was a kid in the United States. I think, now I, I, I said, if my daughter come over here, I think she might freak a little. Well, I don't know, though, because she's from rural Arkansas. Rural Arkansas still has, uh, they've got, they've got some, uh, they live a little differently too. And she's very familiar with the rural life in Arkansas. My daughter, oh my God, my daughter, my daughter is a, uh, uh, it's unbelievable, unbelievable to tell the truth because she's a uh, Java engineer. She's uh, working down in Florida and she went to college for languages. She has a major in, in uh, French and in Spanish. And here she winds up working in, in computer language and Java and uh, as a Java engineer. And she says, well, it's a language. I guess that's, that's what matters. Is it's a language I'm dealing with. Wow. Well, neat. Neat. She's a good kid. Really good kid. Uh, when she was little... It, I mean, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how she got in the computers. When she was little, we used to make notes to each other. We'd write each other notes in HTML. Do you believe that? In HTML. So if you wanted to make something important, you put capital H, so it was big letters and italics. I believe we wrote each other notes in HTML. Oh, yeah, when cable first came. Well, I, oh, I get in this memory thing every once in a while. When I get in that memory stuff, I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe. It. I remember, I mean, remember the phones. You have to wear a backpack for a freaking phone, big shoulder strap, like a, like a big giant purse built to talk on the phone. And, uh, and Dick Tracy with a watch that had it, and, and it's like the smart watches now, you know. Oh my God, that's kind of weird. I know that when they first came out with the, uh, with the, uh, um, communication towers, the, uh, the cell phone towers, I remember people talking about what an investment that would be. It's what, and there were people investing in, in building towers. 
And I never, I never looked back. That'd be an interesting thing to look back and see how many people really made a lot of big, big. Yeah, the brick phone, <laughs> a big thing. But I wonder how many people got rich off those cell towers because I remember hearing a lot about the how to put your money in now because you'll get rich from these cell towers, you know. It was one of those things I almost invested in, but not quite. Hey, has anybody heard about the... Um, Oh my God, I'm kind of to Joe Biden. Who sound like Joe Biden? I just, and in the middle of talking in a sense, and I figure what I'm going to say. Oh my God, this is terrible. Okay. Mandela effect. Has anybody heard of the Mandela effect? Do you know what the Mandela effect is? It's pretty astounding and it's real. I 100% believe it's real. I, I don't have much doubt about it. And my daughter and I have talked about it. And there, there are things I remember clearly that weren't like I remember them. And it's the same thing with her. Oh, the Saturns were gonna change the world as we know it. What do you think of Tesla, about, about the, the Tesla cars? What do you think of them? Oh, Mandela affects the things that you think you remember. And you find out that it's not like you remembered it. It's a, I, I wish I could remember some right off the bat. I can't. I, I know one of them. I can tell you one of them for real, real sure, because I used to collect um, at meteorites. I used to collect the little, I mean, I went out and bought them. I, I, I collected them. And I didn't have much money, and I always bought the cheapest ones I could. And they were the they were all iron. They were the they were iron meteorites, and they were the ones that were the cheapest because uh, there were so many of them. And 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 now, uh, Tesla. I think Tesla is a dynamite car. It's dynamite. I think that man, uh, uh, that Elon Musk, to walk in the middle of a car industry had big ones, buddy. He, I'm surprised that son of a gun could walk because he had big ones. And, uh, and what an industry to walk in the middle of and think you can try to do anything even reasonably substantial is amazing. And he did. He did. And he is. The cars are pretty neat, and they're setting a. What they're going to be is, is what what he what he said at one time. He says, "I may not dominate, but I will start a trend," and that's what he did. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. I may not be the one. Oh, Tucker! I've seen Tucker cars, the ones with the where the lights follow the steering wheel. That's quite unbelievable. I think at this only the center light that followed this steering wheel. I had three lights on. I've seen the Tucker cars. Yeah. I used to have an old uh, Studebaker. I had a Studebaker Champion. It looked like a sports car. When I even look at it and I look at pictures of Champions now, I'm going, Jesus, they were ahead of the time on the design. They look very, very sporty, you know, sleek looking thing. I liked Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile was fun, expensive but fun. Old T-Birds were, were pretty neat. The old T-Birds. Oh, I had so many cars. When I was a kid, I just went through cards like a, oh, went through, went through cars like they were cards. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of cars. I that I can. Oh yeah, I had a Corvair. I had a little Corvair. I had a Corvair convertible. I had a Corvair convertible and I was in Pennsylvania and I was coming home on Christmas. Coming home on Christmas. And a deer jumped out in front of me. And I hit that deer. And it caved the front of my of my uh, 
bumper in. Also, during the same trip back, I mean, I could still drive it, but it caved it all in pretty good. I had to get out there and pry it out. Day before Christmas, Christmas Eve. This is a good story. This is a good story. Uh, uh, good about the humanity of people, you know. I had a... Um, I had a flat tire and I had no spare. Jesus, I had, you know, I'm like, I'm a kid. I had no, I had no spare tire and I got that flat Christmas Eve snowing out. And I'm trying to think, where can I, well, Christmas Eve, I've got to try to find a place to get a tire somewhere. And I went into, a, I drove it with a flat. I mean, I had no choice. I drove it with a flat. I drove it with a flat, and I went in the one as one exit, went up, and no gas stations were open. I went back down on the freeway again. I went to another exit. No, no, no gas stations open there. And I said, man, there's another one real close, you know. And by then, I mean by then, I was driving almost on rim. As a matter of fact, when I pulled in that gas station. I went in. No, this was the last one. When I put, pulled up and I went into a gas station, I've got to call somebody. There's nothing I can do now. Nothing I can do. And I went in, and you know how those lines that go across that you drive or you go bing bing when you want to cross it to show that you were in a gas station. I drove across that with my with my blown out tire, no rubber left, it was just a rim, and I cut it, and I can remember seeing that thing whipping in the air like a dying snake, man. <laughs> My car tire had cut it. I got hold of a, I got to the phone. I got hold of a man, finally, a human being, and said, "Hey, I am stuck, man. It's it's, it's late at night, and I I have I'm no no tire, and I've got a flat." And he said, "I'll come out there. I'll come out there." And he went to the. He come up to me and. Uh, Mind you, this is Christmas Eve. He come up to me. He goes, no tire. Oh, my God, what are you doing? Where did you come from? I said, Clarion, Pennsylvania. I'm going to uh, Leary, Ohio. Oh, my God. And no spare. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. And he's, I think I've got one. I think I've got one I can pop on. And he left. And he says, I'll be, I'll be right back. And he left. He'd gone for a while, you know. As a matter of fact, I thought he forgot about me. And he come back. And here's this tire. He says, I, it had a tire on it, but uh, but the tire was, was bad. So I put a new, put another tire on the rim. And he went in, and the rim wouldn't fit. He went, and we did, you need him and try it. He came back and looked and went, oh, my God, you've got six lugs or whatever it was, and this has got five. That's not going to go. Oh, my God, you know. And he took off again, and he came back with another one. He came back, he's got the tire, and he says, I can't take these lug nuts off. Look, the rim is bent around the bolts. Oh my God. And and part of the rim had collapsed by where the bolts were, and it bent the rim over the bolt where he couldn't reach to get it off with a wrench. And he says, I've got to get a torch. I've got to cut that. So I can get to that bolt. He says, there's no way I can get to that bolt there. I said, oh, my God. Hey, Victor Hernandez. Hello from the Philippines to you, Victor. And uh, he went back. He got a torch. And he came back and he cut that piece off so he could, that piece of tire that fold, that piece of rim that folded over the bolt and got the bolts off and put the tire on and I thought, oh, man, this is going to cost me my firstborn. You know, this is, good. this is going to be astounding, man. And he got it done. And he said, there, we got you all fixed up, buddy. I went, oh, my God, I can't believe it. I can't. What you went through to try to do this for me, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, you know. I said, how, how much is that going to be? And he says, Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. 
It's not going to cost you anything. It's not going to cost me anything. No. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Unbelievable. And he, all he went through, it took him about three freaking hours of running back and forth and have to go get torches. And, and then he gave me a rim and gave me a tire. What a neat thing. What a neat person. Darn those bulk and shout something. I think that's really amazing how they fix the tires and stuff up over here. A 40 foot antenna. Perfect internet. I've actually got pretty good internet most of the time now. Uh, I was supposed to have, I, I guess the core United States is not pretty good. I get I get about one and a half meg now. And sometimes I get up to two. And in the beginning, I was getting the same as a, as a phone. I was getting a 256K. And uh, it, it has changed. So my internet is much, much better now. I've got fiber optic for my I don't get this shoulder here. I'm bending over like this instead of one of my glasses. I should get my glasses on. I don't think I've got a lot more to talk about right now. I could I I I'll I'll say again if it didn't Anybody that didn't see the beginning, look in the beginning. I'm a, I really, I would like to get into doing videos on programming, but it's not easy to find an audience that wants to look at it. Yeah, thank you, Victor. Thank you, Victor. Myra, have you seen Myra's channel? Cooking Crap with Myra? Where's, where's she at? Let's see if I've got a. Cooking craft with my Myra Reyes. Okay, here's Myra. If I can post links or not, but I'm going to do this and try it. Copy uh, StreamYard. Yeah, there's Myra. She's got a she's got a channel out there, Victor. If you want to take a look at she's she's actually doing a little more with the videos than I am. And she's not doing a lot, but she's doing more. And and, and uh, she's actually got the house. We bought a house over here, and she got a little bit more about the house. And it's really too bad because she set out to do videos about uh, the coronavirus over here. And YouTube marked their videos that it's not suitable for advertisers. And I, I guess she can, it was really made her feel bad because she's monetized. She went out and did the, did the videos. And then she, she even was going to go down and because we've got guards at the end of the uh, subdivision um, to keep anybody from coming in or going out without checking passes. And she wanted to do some videos and uh, everybody in Tunco is running around wearing masks and stuff. And she said, well, YouTube won't even let me put my videos up. And she was scared. She was actually scared about her, but yeah, Victor, subscribe to her and tell her you you, you saw her here. She'd get a kick out of that. She'll, she'll enjoy that. But she, um, 
she felt bad because she she was actually was afraid they were going to shut her channel down because they sent her notes and they and they and they demonetized the videos and uh, they're about the virus over here how what the reactions are uh, she went through the store and says hey really it's not bad and it's not complaining or anything bad about it it's just uh, It was just information and, and walking around town and showing in the stores that they had no alcohol, you know. There's nothing really dramatic about it. Okay, what's that? I, get, I think I probably ought to go. Jeez, I've been on here almost, I've been an hour, 45 minutes. I can't believe the first time I have a live stream. I'm on here and I'm like, jabber, 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 jabber. And look what, oh my God, I've been on for over three hours. But I also want to do a little, a, a small little stream to put on uh, on my Linux toy box where I actually talk more about uh, the uh, the programming end of what I'm doing here. As it is, hello from the Philippines. Hey, everybody have a nice day, and I thank you a lot for showing up. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to me, I know, I know most of you have. It. Matter of fact, I think you all have. I'm quite sure you all have. But I'll be back. I'll be back. I won't be quite so long. John, I won't, I won't take years to come back again. I'll come back and do something. And uh, I'm going to update on what I'm doing anyway with my... Uh, data stuff. I really, really think the world is going to change so dramatically that 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 we're going to be amazed. And you you remember, you all remember about the COVID-19 boomers, and they're going to be the baby boomers of the COVID-19 virus, just like there was during the war. You wait and see. You can't go out, go cruising, go playing around. You're going to make babies. That's just the way it goes. Hey, God bless you, and thank you very much, and uh, I'll, I'll tell Myra for sure. I appreciate the visit and the hello, and uh, thank you very much for listening to me ramble, even though you did call me Joe Biden for, for getting stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a good life if you don't weaken Oh, the New World Order, the New World Order is, this virus is putting it in place much, much more than anybody realizes, much more than anybody realizes. Um, we've got, we've got, there, there, there's something going to happen, things are going to happen with politics that's going to knock everybody's socks off. I can just feel it in my bones. I can feel it. Hey. <laughs> okay, y'all take it easy out there. You hear?